our, all of our special events go to our area of greatest need. So those area of greatest needs, when we have the money at the end of the year, our leadership and our board of directors uh, really align what those dollars go to. So it might be anything from women children's care to cardiology, uh, buying equipment, providing services, community education classes, charity care, whatever that greatest need is. And that's what our special, special events go to. See, we have sound effects. There you go. Yeah. I was waiting on it. <laughs> I was waiting on it, man. Hello, and welcome to our next episode of our Community Spotlight. We are here today with Clark Ellison with Mercy. Thank you, and welcome. Put on the crickets instead of the hand clap. Please. Oh, whatever. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're going to get in the fight. This is going to be great. So don't mess up the bars or the cameras. All right. Okay. So you guys can fight over there by the TV. All right. But... Thank you for being here today, and we are here to talk about one of the uh, events that Mercy has coming up, which is Catfish, Corn Dogs, and Cornhole. That's it. And so my first question to you, Clark and Eric, is how please, did... Please, please, please direct this to Clark. Oh, how did Catfish, Corn Dogs, and Cornhole start? You know, if it's history, Eric's the one that started it, so I'm going to turn it... I'm going to turn this question over to Eric. <laughs> Eric's got to come up with the history. Then I'll, sh I'll share where he failed to <laughs> talk about how we really exploded this event up in Northwest Arkansas. So, so Eric, <laughs> tell us a little bit about catfish, corn dogs and cornhole. Yeah. So happy to say I was one of the founding founders of the catfish. The founding corn dogs. founders. The founding founder. <laughs> we started at white spider. We started it. Yes. Where did the idea come from? That's right. I've only from been from my freaking brain. Was it yours or what did, did, was it just yours? You're going to take all the credit for all of it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, right. some, I mean, Wiley McIntyre, who used to work with us back in the day, who tries to get claim on all good things that happen. <laughs> like our logo. Might, might have had, I think that I remember bantering with him about the name. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he threw in the corn dogs part. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, but because originally we we're going to call it crawfish corn dogs. No, crawfish cornhole. No, crawfish, crawfish, catfish, crawfish, corn dogs, and corn. I'm sorry, I'm spitting. Cat, what is it? Was it crawfish, crawfish or corn dogs? Catfish? No, originally it's gonna be crawfish. Crawfish. Yeah. Because we did the first change? one because the crawfish had a bad season that season, so we changed it to catfish, corn dogs, and cornhole. I think it was crawfish something and cornhole. Crawfish. Cor what goes with corn? Uh, crawfish. There was corn? something. Corn. Cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. It so sketchy. it was supposed to be yeah crawfish crawfish had a bad season that season and we actually did it in partnership with collective bias uh amy callahan was it the first year too that was the first year we did it back in golly it was a long 20 oh that was in no, the parking lot up there that behind collective lot, bias yeah, collective that was, bias yeah. and that it was, was i do remember so, it was so hot Hot. That was hot one. so hot we did it so i that was my first week at white spider Ah, that was yeah. week number one. So it was 2014. It's good for you. You got some yeah. growing up there. I did. I got a sunburn. To yeah. And so we did it to benefit um, uh, Kendrick Fincher Hydration for Life. Mm -hmm. And that's actually how we got, uh, how I personally got exposed to Mercy because yep. Mercy would help support we that organization. We sponsored them. Yeah. Yep. For the luncheons. Yep. And the next year, uh, and we also had Bago and Brisket that we were doing. Yep. which is Bagos, the smaller boards, smaller cornhole boards. They're, they're actually trademark name, plastic ones, smaller ones. Um, and we were doing that with Kendrick Fincher Hydration for Life, too. So we had two of those events going on. The next year, I don't believe we partnered with Collective Bias. We did it at the Lewis and Clark parking lot. Yeah. And I think that's the first year we sponsored, we supported you guys, wasn't it? Uh, no, first year we did move it to the we campus. did, yeah. So, so I think I maybe think... we did it. For, I don't, I don't know who we did it for the second year, but then we did it. Then, then we uh, yep. Clark and I started working together. I don't know how did that how did that happen? How did we get well? Well, you guys with when did we meet? I'll have to I'll have to admit that I thought it was such a cool event, and I'm like, 
we've got to tie mercy into it somehow. That's yeah. Yeah. I remember that. I forgot like, like, cause we were talking about some other, I think maybe we've been talking about mercy ball or something yep. like that. That's right. And then brought up the cornhole and Clark was so like, I've won six. I've, so I think this is our seventh year. So that'd be about right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? It is. So I'll, I'll admit though, when we, so up, uh, we had a pretty good first couple of years. It was actually pretty popular. It was huge. And, but when it was all right, I mean, I would say it's all right in comparison to <laughs> ah, what it is. Now. So Clark loved it so much. And I was so excited to have a, 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 a nonprofit that was so eager to, to do help. a cornhole, yeah. to do the cornhole, to help with the cornhole event and receive, receive the, the benefits, the benefits, the, the yep. big checks that we were cutting. That's right. Uh, but but then Clark took it, man, rolled with it. So I'll admit, I'll have to admit. He, it was so fantastic. our agreement was, I don't know if you remember this or not. So the first year. Probably not. I probably don't remember any agreement. So <laughs> You're like, yeah, sure, whatever. It was something like, I told Eric, I, and he goes, you know, he goes, we don't just do one nonprofit. We'll change it up year to year and all that. And I said, here's the deal. If I can get 100 teams the first year, can I have a second year? And he goes, sure. <laughs> he didn't think I was going to do it, uh -uh. you know. Yeah. And it up, man. we did. did. And did. then the second year, we said, okay, if I get 150 teams, can we have it the third year? He's like, all right. No. And we did it again. I think okay. that year we might have come in at 147. So you yeah, were, I was, I was gracious. You were, we you were, yeah. yeah. You're welcome. He goes close enough. And I was going to buy three teams at the last day. To, <laughs> if, if <he'd... laughs> the, the, uh, Clark would do it at um, the Mercy Grounds yep. right there at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was always, I remember the first time that you did it, it like the, the boards were just, so just many. one. Oh, it was beautiful. It was, it was so such crazy. a beautiful yeah. scene. It is. It, it was is. such a beautiful scene. Yeah. I Killed it, man. Yeah. It was awesome. So we've and been then, rolling and, with it ever since. And then kind of you, no, you were really excited about it until it was at the end and it was time to pick up all those boards. Oh, dude. And that was that was our that was the white spider job. Dude, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. That's so well that registration and scorekeeping, <laughs> but we won't we won't sensitive talk about areas. those highlights. Oh, sensitive areas. Yeah. <laughs> but to tie kind of tie the complete loop of where ccc is today so back it was two years ago we were doing our second after party sponsorship for the mercy ball and failed miserably at, at how well we could have done <laughs> so i was like clark here's the deal sorry my bad <laughs> there was some other fault. so it wasn't me okay but whatever my right. bad right because i can't detach from spider land mm -mm. at all it's I'm founder. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry we failed on that. How about, hey, this is yours. Because you did it so well. And so we gave it to, we gave the domain, everything over to Trust Mercy. Over like what, 2018? Uh, that would have been probably before the pan right before the pandemic. It was. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. So yeah. 19 maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that, and of course, that's he's, right? they've, been, they've been conquering it ever since. But I mean, you know, when we, when we had Mercy involved and they started – because we would always run the tournament beforehand, right? When we were doing it on our own and kind of sponsoring different nonprofits. And really well. It was a very, yeah. very exhausting White thing. Spider is not a special event no. company. No. Yeah. I mean, a lot of that was uh, the other owner wow. wouldn't let us. I guess we're not. Well, he I wouldn't. mean, that just destroyed any opportunity for us to become No, no well. No, no, no. I and 20... 18. Okay, got you. Yeah. Now yeah. today could be different. Today, it could be different. But we didn't it could have, be totally different now. We didn't have the resources to dedicate. So, that's right. So, and so and we, you learn. You learn how the professional. So his statement was should have been White Spider was not yeah. a special events company. That's right. Well, we, I mean, we still do. We still are e commerce experts <laughs> and, yes. do, and have a platform and do. Yeah, we do that. We're digital commerce experts. Digital commerce experts, yes. And see, and the Mercy Foundation is not that. Yeah. So we wouldn't be out there trying to do e-commerce. Uh, yeah. For people. And White Spider shouldn't have been out there in 2018 doing special events. Yeah. See? You On, know. The side. Yeah. On the side. On the side, yeah. The day, the day before gig. the event. Hey, go to Lowe's and get one of those big old <laughs> vinyl things so we can write a scoreboard on it. <laughs> hey, go get some Lowe's buckets. Fill them up with hey. sand. Put stakes in it. And then tie some red ribbons so you can block off the parking lot. But That's what know, we should do. Oh, yeah. Exactly. 
But you know what? Everybody had a great day. Man, oh. The marketing team was different back then. I wasn't on the marketing team yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, yeah. Anyway, when so we would mess up those things. Me, me, yeah. And it was really intense and stressful. Then we were when, making memories. We were making, making memories. memories. And That's then the first we year doing. we did it at Mercy, like Clark and specifically Beth weren't, oh, yeah. have, weren't having our inefficiencies at registration. And Nicole. And the, Nicole, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think Nicole is more on the efficiency <laughs> part of it. I think she was because I at that time I didn't really know Nicole. Yeah, but she was telling Beth like this is a disaster, <laughs> and so I just remember <laughs> Beth like yelling at me. But uh, like the Nicole's too nice to say disaster. No, she's sweet. So I think she would have. She said, messaged. We could have done better. We could do better. We could do better. <laughs> I think you better. remember saying something like almost yeah. exactly like that. Next year, let's see if Eric needs a little help. <laughs> Yeah. Eric, need, Eric need helpy. Yes. Oh, yeah, I was not. Oh, dang, oh, dang. Wow. Hey, you have to throw, you? We've been working. We've been working together for a long time. I know these things now. Mm, great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, then why aren't things perfect? Then, if you know everything, I don't know everything. I just know about you. Thank you. I've been working. We've been working together a long time. Yeah. See, so this is certain. It doesn't take long to know everything about Eric. <laughs> Pretty much of an open book. Yeah, I kind of am. I'm exposed. Yeah. <laughs> so they. Uh, You're yeah. so quiet. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. really reserved. Hard to Very read. Reserved. His emotions. I have no opinion. No opinion. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, so we, uh, disaster of scoreboard. I mean, and we had, it was a hot day again. The Mercy, really Mercy's first tournament. Hot, hot. Hot. And the freaking food was still not ready. Yeah. And people were hangry. And that we were And we didn't even tournament. know that word back then, but hangry. that's exactly what they that were. were mm-hmm. Hangry yeah. and... It felt like it might have come across as we were cheating people in the tournament. I mean, it's crazy. Isn't it crazy, like, how serious some of the tournament players are? Some of them are not. Most, I'd say 80% of people come out there and have a good time. That's why we have those two divisions. (laughs) That's why you got two. We move move those competitive ones off to their own Smart move, man. I I couldn't figure that one out. Yeah. (laughs) There's a pro. Yeah. And then there's. There's a competitive and an amateur. And an amateur. So. And I usually say the amateur, they're like, so I've played a little bit. And I'm like, if you play like at JJ's or, you know, at the Razorback game out in the parking lot, you're an amateur. Yeah. If you go and play tournaments and you're, you're competitive. Probably competitive. Yeah. You're, you're, you're in it for the, for, for the if money. If you have your own cornhole bags, you're competitive. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. simple. <laughs> it, it, yeah. 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 If you bought cornhole bags. <laughs> kind of like and bowlers. You, and you're playing you know? on, oh, here's the thing. And you plan on bringing them to the cornhole that's tournament. Right. That's right. You're a competitor. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like a bowler when they show up with their own ball and yeah. their own shoes, uh-huh. you know, and not the spray disinfectant shoes that you rent from the right. counter. You're, yeah. yeah. You're, 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 in, you're, you're in, in that, that bracket. different level. You're, you're in that <laughs> bracket. <laughs> well, that was going to be one of my questions. So why did Mercy take it over? Other than the fact that White we, Spider needed help. <laughs> Why did Mercy take it over? Was it just, did you just, Eric gifted it I to you? I would say or? Eric's generosity. Yeah. <laughs> Is that good? That's perfect. How about right. Eric's humility? <laughs> <laughs> How about Eric's make good? How about Eric uh, just <laughs> uh, can't accept the failure? Mm-hmm. And so I gave. We've grown a lot as a company since 2018. Yeah. It's been good. <laughs> we got good people. I hear you. It's been, it's been fun. <laughs> hire, your, hire your team well, right? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And get you an excellent CEO. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. Good job, JS. JS. <laughs> he's not watching this. He won't watch it this far. He won't watch. No. No. <laughs> he, he's already moved on to another spreadsheet. He's like, I don't have time for this. This does not calculate in my spreadsheet. But uh-huh. we're not. So. Anyway. Sorry. But yes, another thing that I wanted to talk about is how has the cornhole event grown over the years? So we have. So I think you know probably your first couple of years, you guys are around 40, 50 yeah. uh, teams total. And um, last year, so two years ago, we didn't have it because of the pandemic. Oh, you didn't? We didn't. And then last year, we we're able to do events outside. So Cornhole was one event that we did last year. So we ended up um, last year about 140 teams. So it's kind of, right. yeah. It's evened um, out though, yeah. And, you know, I think this year it'll be higher than that. But last year, and so we do have same-day registration where teams can come in and Oh, so you got the registration process down to the art. It's where slick. Yeah. Scores wow. now will be on your phone this year. Oh, really? It's an app 
the players will Because we tried moving, switching over to digital at one point. It didn't work out well. Are you ready for that challenge? Digital? You mean the um, – 55 inch screen TV on the side of the camper. Was that your dish? <laughs> I didn't know that was classified. We were, we were supposed to push messages. I didn't know that was classified as digital. <laughs> yeah. So this one will actually will have people, the players, download an app on your phone. You'll be notified what course you'll be on. Um, you'll be notified five minutes ahead of time when you play. It's pretty slick. That's going to be really slick. Yeah. So that's definitely one of the reasons how it's grown. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's on his own separate track. We'll get that out of there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we have uh, Eat My Catfish coming to fry the oh, catfish cool. this year. Yeah. yeah. And the corn dogs are donated by Sonic. So if you like the Sonic corn Ooh. dogs, no way. they're going to be there. Uh, we also have our friends Clorox. They always do like the brats and the hot dogs for us as well. So it's, oh, good. you know, it, we couldn't figure out how to put hot dog and yeah, corn brats, brats, catfish, corn dogs, hot dogs, brats, and ca- yeah. Yeah. corn dogs. Yeah. yeah. It's, it we could, it's, it's too, much. It's too yeah. much. It's just too much. Too many yeah. C's. Yeah. yeah. And B's. And so, so you said there was two brackets. So um, yep. if, if people are on, like, do do you have, like, professional cornhole players coming to this, like, from, there like, are, around the nation? or is There it... are. So they do travel in from the – we had teams from Tulsa last year come in. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you guys are, like, on uh, – like, We're this, on this the cornhole map. On the map. circuit, yeah. We're but, on the but cornhole you're not, map. You, you're not – have y'all gotten connected to the uh, American Cornhole Association, ACA, nope. yet? Nope. Haven't put on, like, a circuit – because I'm, I've always wondered, is this the largest cornhole tournament in America? I don't know. It could be. Is it like bigger somewhere else? Is it like? I mean, I don't know. I haven't heard. I mean, cornhole anytime that in when you have, I say we can say it, then right mm-hmm. that we are the biggest cornhole tournament. Sure. Yeah, yeah. If we don't know, then we can say it. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? The largest privately held cornhole tournament to for our a nonprofit in North to Amer- Mercy. Yeah. For nonprofit <laughs> to Mercy in northern america there you go yeah central Biggest. largest US. the largest the largest <laughs> fine print the but best. i mean it could be one of the largest because i know that whenever like any of the competitive players come they're like this is the biggest tournament that yeah. i've ever been to yeah so, and there's some of them that are serious i think nowadays it's gro- uh, cornhole is growing and popular i mean there it's on espn now wow you know the fi- wow. national finals and everything but wow. i think there's some sanctioned uh, tournaments oh, that yeah. are probably bigger, but as far as a fundraiser, it might be one of the biggest. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so you don't have to be a professional to 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 come no. and play and play play cornhole. You know, like you said, people that you know, I play in my backyard. Sometimes. I'll be playing on the seventeenth. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so y- very you non-professional. Come. Good. <laughs> so you, you can come, and it's basically just to you know raise money, have fun. It's more about just hanging out and having fun. It's, it is. Yeah. yeah, and if you don't play cornhole at all. Uh, we'll co- come out. We'll help people learn how to do it. Yeah. Uh, but there's also we have uh, levels that you can just come and eat and drink with us that day. Yeah. Cool. It's, yeah. It's, you, you have, what do you pay to just come eat and drink? Yeah. Um, you know, let me think about that. Twenty dollars a person. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was classic. And then, when if you are wanting to play on? I'm sorry, but you might be. This might be part of your question. So I'm always. Uh, what does it cost to, for a team to play? Is that going to be one of your questions? Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, no, it's fine. No. <laughs> All right. It's no. $60 a team. Okay, cool. And you can, and so you can come and you can sign up day day of. So you, it's a it's two two people team. So you just come and be like, all right, bro, we got Friday off. Let's 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 go do some corn. Yep. Go do some cornhole. Yep. And where is it this year? Um, it's still on the campus. Oh, yep. wow. Okay. It's still on the hospital campus. So, so Mercy on off Pinnacle, ex- between exit 83 and 81. Yep. Wow, that was very. It's on our very... hospital. So, hospital. Um, yeah. Turn. Why is that prom- Promenade Boulevard? I think yeah, it's Promenade, Promenade Boulevard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now that we work over here, I know what this. Yeah, yeah take exit eighty three. It's just south of exit eighty three. Is where you'll you'll see the boards out yep. here. Well, signs yeah. posted from that from the Promenade Boulevard, uh, how to get in and park and all that. That is so cool. Yeah. How early should people show up? So actually, we do start at eight o'clock. At eight a.m. Eight a.m. And we'll start having bags fly about 8.30, run wow. the tournament, have the meal um, starting about 11.30. And then we're going to do a blind draw this year, which up until last year, I didn't know what a blind draw was. But you can add 
um, and it's individual, so it's all computerized. You sign up, it will have registration starting about noon for the blind draw. And if people want to stay in the afternoon and play more, uh, you sign up and then the computer pairs you with a partner and then you play through another tournament. Oh, so, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. some of your big enthusiasts out there that want to keep playing. Huh? So that came from the competitive side, learning a little bit more about cornhole the last couple of years. That's the blind draw tournament is very popular, I guess. Okay. And so is that um, is that how you guys are like beating the heat? Because I know that the... The, the heat of the afternoon was always killer when it we was. were doing those things. Yep. So now is that why you moved it to the morning? Yep. That's so smart. Yep. I didn't, that is so I didn't, smart. I didn't get a uh, get asked that if that was okay. <laughs> well, when you turned it over to us two years yeah. ago, three years ago. <laughs> I'm doing, oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be on the board. Hey, if you want to, you can come out at 11 and we'll just start your tournament at 11. <laughs> I'll be part of the blind draw. Yeah. <laughs> part of the blind draw. It's just, 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 just that. Here, Eric, here's some catfish. <laughs> and congratulations, you're paired with this person. Yeah. Yeah. A Love pro. They're gonna a be, pro. Yeah, you're with the pro. You're with the pro. You'll be like, cool. They'll be like, great. That's and it will. Exciting. And yeah. so that will be. So the competitive and the amateur players, so there's some awesome. that are compared with it so and so do the winners win like do, can you win money even if you're not even the even if you're like an amateur yep so we have prizes in both divisions so the competitive has prizes for second third and the amateur has first second and third that's amazing what yeah. are the prizes i knew you were gonna ask me that I think, <laughs> I think for competitive we're actually doing cash we might be doing cash this year for both of them but i don't know what the level coins is. like golden coins or anything crypto <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think it's the old, uh, the old fashioned Visa gift card. Yeah. <laughs> uh, love it. Uh, love it. So, what um, does, um, so, I mean, gift card to the hospital? Yeah. This yeah. cornhole event is a charity <laughs> event. Out. And so, what does, um, cool, what does it do for the, for Northwest Arkansas? What is it, um, what is this, what is a uh, cornhole raising money for? Yeah. So, our, our, all of our special events go to our area of greatest needs. So, those area of greatest needs, when we have the money at the end of the year, our leadership and our board of directors, uh, really align what those dollars go to. So it might be anything from women and children's care to cardiology, uh, buying equipment, providing services, community education classes, charity care, whatever that greatest need is. And that's what our special special events go to. All right. Yeah. Cool. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So special events include like the Mercy Ball. And it does. Everything. Yeah. And there's components of Mercy Ball that we do, like we do a, a direct appeal that night when they fill out the card and everything okay. that we buy something specific for. That's right. Yeah. But then there's another portion of the night that goes I remember to a couple of years ago, there was something like, it must've had like a specific need that year for like a children's, you're, you're building a new children's facility or something. It was the like. NICU. It was, NICU. Yeah. It was the tower project and all that. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. It's cool, man. So it I guess that, that's been built up and. We have. So we wow. opened the tower in 2019 and just before COVID, and we we're kind of worried with that coming on if we'd fill it up. But actually, it, it was a true blessing that we had the extra space wow. uh, to be able to still provide for those patients that were not COVID, that still needed the care, but then also segment portions of that off to where we could care for the COVID patients wow. as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah. It's a lot of interesting blessings that came through all like, and, I mean, yeah. during that time, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Mercy also is positioned and... We've had virtual care for many, many years. We have a virtual care center that's headquartered out of St. Louis. And, you know, we were trying to move people to it and people weren't comfortable. You know, there's just some people that would rather see a doctor in person and not through virtual appointments and so forth. And really the pandemic kind of pushed people to get comfortable with virtual care. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so our virtual care is really just, it become a part of the mainstream care for, for certain ailments or certain uh, patients that are needing you know that immediate care that uh, we can provide it through virtual so that's cool yeah yeah i think we haven't really talked about mercy a lot during yeah. this i think we need to talk about mercy and just kind of like so mercy in northwest arkansas so all the money you raise 
uh, for for um, for your nonprofits uh, now, they all stay here in Northwest Arkansas. Is that That's what's correct. going on? Yeah. And then just tell us a little about Mar uh, Mercy. Just what is the background of Mercy? You know, we continue to expand. Uh, we have three uh, ERs now. We have two standalone ERs that we built over the last couple of years. Uh, one in Springdale, one up in Bella Vista. Um, and then our services, they continue to grow as well. You know, trying to meet the the demand of the population growth in Northwest Arkansas is always a challenge. And that project where we have the tower, the new tower that we added on to opened up in October of 19, uh, really allows us to kind of stay ahead of that growth. So we've been, again, very blessed by everything that we have. Oh, is that not an end? Would you stop? <laughs> was, uh, that was a good run. All right. Uh, but no, uh, I'm telling you, Mercy overall, we uh, we continue to be blessed here in Northwest Arkansas. That's great. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for being here. And when is... Are the... you ending the show? Yeah, it's been like 30 minutes. <laughs> Man, but what we need to talk about... Oh, the one thing we I have, not... I've got three more pages of stuff on my oh, Okay, you can still start reading it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. Um, start reading it. <laughs> I, we would like to support Mercy, presenting sponsor. Yes, yes, sure. That's oh, White no. Spider. You already filled that out. We did already fill that out. Yeah. That, that's you that's are the presenting about. sponsor. We're the presenting sponsor. I know. Yeah. And so all that, so you, so we. My so, hell. So, not, so man, not manpower or operations of the tournament this year, but financially there White Spider. There we go. We, we're, we finally, we what graduated to that part. Small world. It's a win-win for all of us. It is a win-win, yeah. <laughs> We don't have to run, run she registration. Don't to, she don't want me to handle the catfish. No, okay. uh, we're good. Man, I'm good. Uh, we're good. So we did tell <laughs> Clark and I had a joke when we when we sponsored this year. We're like, okay, dude, we got to go to Beth and Nicole and say that I'm, you know, white. We're back in. We're back. In. Yeah. <laughs> number one. Number one. We're back in. We're back we're in. Back number in. two. We're we they're got, doing we the got operations. The tournament bracket. We're gonna take we over got the tournament bracket. and registration. We take got it, it. We're taking it off your plate, <laughs> Nicole and Beth. You're welcome. You're yeah. <laughs> See you. See you there Eric, June seventeenth. Eric's got it covered. Uh, got it yeah. covered. Don't even have to worry about it. <laughs> Not before the day of or afterwards. I got it all. Oh, yeah. Good. Awesome. Yeah. So, got a quick question, Brooke. If that's okay. Okay. One more question. Is it? Now you stumble me. It's going to take more time because I got to think of the right question. Why is, I mean, why the cornhole tournament? What do you like about it? What do you see the community enjoying about it? And why is that different than other events? I think. What a great question. That's great. That's all right. I've been asked that. <laughs> I've been asked that before, but yeah, that was a great question, Eric. Thank you for asking me that question. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I think there's a couple of things. One, it's unique. Not everybody. There's a lot of galas. There's a lot of golf tournaments. There's a lot of 5K runs. Uh, but this is great. It's different. And also, we have kept the cost down to sponsor it, uh, to allow other people to make sure that their team members come out, the whole teams of, you know, suppliers and vendors and corporations that can come out, spend time with their their team, team build, be outside, play cornhole, eat some catfish, eat some corn dogs, and just have a good time with us. It's such a fun event, man. It is a fun event. Even the name's fun. It is fun. Yeah. I just um I just want to say that I just noticed right now that I thought the catfish was in between like paddles, but those are corn no, those dogs. Are corn dogs bro. I just realized oh, that. Oh my word. <laughs> How did you not see that? I don't know. I've been looking at it since 2000. Why would we have paddles at you not cornhole tournament? I don't know. It's a fish. So I thought that you like you're paddling out. Did you didn't notice that the wings to the logo or cornhole? Oh, bars? I just noticed that too. I I've really been looking at it. Did you notice that the big box is a big cornhole bag? No, what? It's not true. I know. I was, I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> Well, thank you for being here. This has been amazing. And one more thing, that right as we leave, let's talk about the day it happens. So it's it's on Friday, June seventeenth. June seventeenth, eight a.m. 8 a.m. All right. Mercy Campus Hospital Campus, Rogers, Arkansas. And where do you go to get signed up if you want to get involved? Uh, they can, you know, probably the easiest way they can call the foundation office four seven nine three three eight two nine nine zero. Yeah. All right. And you just Google. 
You can literally Google catfish mercy yeah. and it, it will it will come up. That's how I got that's how I got Is that how you got to it? That's cat, how I got to catfish it. Mercy. Catfish mercy. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. I love it. That's uh, awesome. So it shows up. Those are your, those are the, you guys are the first one there. So you guys own those oh, keywords and or in your in your organic search. So well congratulations. Done. Good job on the SEO, yeah. man. Yeah, I think that was probably set up when Eric that's had what it. we did. We yeah. set but we that up. Optimized. Uh, guys, I, we optimized. You're welcome. It wasn't anything Clark Digitally did. Digitally That was hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> was it? Of investment. <laughs> well. So you're welcome, Mercy. See? That's why we partner. Eric, that's why we partner with people like yeah. you. Yeah. Eric and all of the Mercy folks. You're uh -huh. welcome. Yeah. yeah. This is huge. This uh, is right. huge. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much.